Welcome to Math Contest Drills for Filipino Kids. This time, let us have solving chicken rabbit problems for our math leads. Let us have our sample problem. A farmer has 45 chickens and rabbits. There are 140 legs altogether. How many chickens does the farmer have? How many rabbits does the farmer have? This problem is common during math contests, particularly our MTAP oral contest for our young mathletes. So this time we're going to show three solutions for this problem. One is using visualization through figures. And then because if the numbers become big, using figures would take longer time so we're going to use visualization of the problem mentally and another one using algebra for students who are already introduced to algebra but before we continue please subscribe for more math contest drills for filipino kids videos okay let us start solving the problem let us read it again a farmer has 45 chickens and rabbits. There are 140 legs altogether. How many chickens does the farmer have? How many rabbits does the farmer have? In the problem, we are given 140 legs and a total of 45 heads, meaning there are 45 uh, chickens and rabbits in all. If we consider the legs, we know that chickens have only two legs while rabbits have four so we first consider all 45 animals to be chickens that means all these animals have two legs meaning we already have distributed 90 legs that is 45 times 2 we have 140 legs altogether, so there are 140 minus 90 legs left. That is 50. Now, let us bring our consideration to the rabbits. We know that rabbits have 4 legs. So, we can distribute this 50 to the animals, giving them 2 more so that an animal will have 4 legs. And that will be a rabbit. So we need two legs to each of the animals. Then 50 divided by 2, 25 animals will receive two additional legs. That means we have 25 animals that have four legs and remaining 20 animals that have two legs. Hence, there are 25 rabbits and 20 chickens in all. Okay? That is using figures. Now, how about when the numbers are too big in such a way that you won't be able to draw figures and it would take longer time to do that? Let us go back to the problem. If the numbers become big, we wouldn't be able to draw figures because it would take longer time so we need another solution that we can visualize the problem mentally let us have a solution that is done step by step we know that we have 140 legs in total and 45 animals consisting of chickens and rabbits Step 1 is to consider all animals to be with the uh, lesser number of legs. So we consider all 45 animals to be chickens and chickens have two legs. So that will be 45 times 2. We have a total of 90 legs. There is a total of 140, so we have 140 minus 90, 50 legs remaining. 
and this is our step 2 already next step is to distribute those 50 legs to the animal so that some animals will have four legs because we only have chickens and rabbits in here that will be two legs and four legs considering that all animals are normal having complete number of legs so we have 50 divided by 2 that is 25 animals from 45 will be receiving additional two legs and this is already the number of rabbits these are the number or this is the number of animals with four legs we have a total of 45 animals so last step if we need to find the number of chickens so we have step 4 that will be 45 minus 25 20 this will be the number of chickens students who are already introduced to algebra solve these types of problem in another way this time we're going to solve the problem using systems of equation with two variables so for students who are already introduced to algebra let us solve this by system of linear equation let x be the number of chicken that is how we do it in algebra y be the number of rabbits there is a total of 45 chickens and rabbits so our equation 1 will be x plus y is equal to 45 and this will be our equation 1 there is a total of 140 legs and we know that chickens have two legs and rabbits have four considering that these animals are normal having complete number of legs so we have 2x the number of legs of chicken plus 4y the number of legs of rabbit and that is a total of 140 let this be our equation two so we're going to solve this using elimination by addition or subtraction First, we multiply equation 1 by 2. 2 times equation 1. So, we will have 2x plus 2y equals 90. Next step is, let us call this equation 3. Next step is to subtract equation 2 minus equation 3 so that will be 2x plus 4y equals 140 minus 2x plus 2y equals 90 subtracting term wise or subtracting the two equations term wise we will get 2x minus 2x is 0 4y minus 2y is 2y then we have 140 minus 90 50 dividing both sides of this resulting equation by 2 y is equal to 25 from our representation this is already the number of rabbits to solve for the number of chickens we can choose either 1 or 2 substitute y is equal to 25 and solve for x this time let us choose equation 1 we have x plus y that is 25 equals 45 
So we have 45 minus 25 and that is equal to 20. This time, x is equal to 20 and from our representation, x is the number of chicken. So we have 20 chickens and 25 rabbits. This type of problem does not only talk about chickens and rabbits. It may be talking about cars and motorcycles, cars and tricycles, when there is a total number of wheels. So let us have this problem. There are 40 cars and motorcycles in a park. There are 116 wheels altogether. How many cars are there? How many motorcycles are there? So, let us choose the second solution in our first example. For our solution, let all vehicles be motorcycles. So, we have 40 times 2, that is a total of 80 wheels. We have a total of 116 wheels, so we subtract 116 minus 80, that is 36. Hence, we divide 36 by 2, and that is 18. That means we have 18 cars. A total of 40 cars minus 18, that is 22. So that means we have 22 motorcycles. and 18 cars. That will be all. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more math contest drills for Filipino kids videos.